Bob and Orrin Mendez, one of uh, a couple of our writers, and they wrote. <laughs> They wrote a hilarious script that we all read up here, and uh, this year, uh, we didn't really have time to do that, so we took inspiration from some funny tweets we saw on the internet. You know those ones? Great start to any idea. You know those? What inspired you? A good tweet. <laughs> you know those? Uh, Says nobody ever. <laughs> you know those things that are like, we forced a bot to watch 10,000 hours of Olive Garden commercials, or Harry Potter, and this is what? Turned out. So we did that, but with Cam Camp. Yeah, this, this episode's written by Eddie Rivas and a real computer. <laughs> uh, it's not wrong. <laughs> true. The computer did help. Uh, so usually with those, uh, those scripts, they, you know, they don't really take into account grammar and uh, character voices 110%. How dare you. So this might be a little weird. I, uh, we'll see what happens. I, uh, none of us have read this before. Do we I have... read it in a robot voice? No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> who's, who's in fact, I insist that you don't. Who, are you going to be reading all the in between I'll decks? read the narration. All right, cool. I'm uh, glad we moved this up because I'm still out of breath. <laughs> do you, um, do you want to go ahead and give us the, t the title? Yeah. The title is called Excessive Teenage Rebellion. <laughs> Written by Eddie Rivas in a real computer. <laughs> right. Let's All right. do this thing. So we're gonna jump right in. <clears throat> we start interior, Camp Campbell Mess Hall. Everyone gathers in the mess hall for a reason that is not food. <laughs> David tell, tells us why the gathering is happening. Now, now, campers. Now, now. <laughs> we are conditioned to believe this nonsense is wholesome, but it. <laughs> It is only half some. <laughs> David, David turns to Gwen. <laughs> Max. Gwen has had enough of being called Max. <laughs> this has been going on for a few seconds and also far too long. Oh, uh, no you don't. I've got very specific plans that will be ruined today for a horny reason. <laughs> David nods knowingly. Now, now. <laughs> Wait, is Eddie here? <laughs> Where is this fuck? Which part is the computer, Eddie? <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Oh, yeah. the, the campers are eating a sustenance. There are two or three banters happening. But if it was the fifth episode of the season, why wasn't it about Jasper? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that could have been a real. She doesn't know what an aardvark sounds like, so she makes a giraffe noise instead. Eyelash flutter, eyelash flutter. Long, long, freakishly long eyelash flutter. For, for context, this line reads in parentheses, Nikki, making extremely accurate giraffe noises. <laughs> Just want to make sure that Eddie and the computer got their wishes. <laughs> That's not what an aardvark sounds like at all. There is a sudden audience in the mess hall. Max breaks the fourth wall to pander to them. <laughs> what do you guys think an aardvark sounds like? <laughs> the audience attempts. This is what they paid for. <laughs> audience attempting goes here. Success. They are temporarily contented. <laughs> Nobody told me there would be so many people at breakfast. My body is now in crisis. <laughs> Enthusiastic joke about body horror! <laughs> Gwen looks around with a nervousness. Body horror is her most favorite genre of the many various pornographies. <laughs> Then Cameron 
Campbell walks in. Hello, Camperitos! <laughs> Cameron Campbell arrives, but not in a clown car. I don't know why that got me so good. What's a gamma? And what? Why? <clears throat> why, hello, Mr. Campbell. You are a dad of a man. I was voted most dad of a man in a year in the past. Before this year is a year in the past. Everyone pauses. What if some years before this year weren't years in the past? Cameron Campbell moves on to a problem that will require approximately 11 minutes to solve. <laughs> questions about the scheme? Now, now, let him scheme his scheme. Now, now. <laughs> I'm starting to feel attacked. <laughs> this scheme I have schemed is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It is a get-poor-quick scheme. Aren't most schemes get-poor-quick schemes? <laughs> Welfare! <laughs> Platypus arrives and solves the problem. There is music. We are in a new scene. It looks just like the old scene, but it's on the moon. David, David frets. This teenage rebellion has gone too far. It can go farther than he realizes. <laughs> Max utters some vulgarities. Wetly muttering, piss Jezebel. Piss Jezebel is my dog's name. <laughs> Jeremy doesn't mention that his dog is Canadian. <laughs> Gwen is a mood. I suggest a fucking change of location. Exterior ac activities field on the moon. They go to the activities field on the moon. We're at a place where things happen. There is certainly a lot of camps here to help us wrap up any dilemma, and I'm not even signed up for any of them. Ha! <laughs> I remember that episode. There were human tears. <laughs> David finds a vague object. It is a sex toy slash quartermaster hook slash trashy fanfiction. Oh, look! We can use this to curb the excessive teenage rebellion we are experiencing. <laughs> child. Not everything is about repeating words from pop culture. David sniffs back a human tear. We are close to emotional moments. <laughs> the campers anticipate sniffling mucus. <laughs> Some things are about the bonds of mutually beneficial acquaintances and the sensation of affection in your chest. But most importantly, all of the data the hip hippocampus records as memories from this nebulous amount of time we are spending together over the summer. Everyone pauses to reflect on these words strung together for manipulative effect. <laughs> the words themselves are also reflective because they are written on a mirror that is suddenly next to David. Hey! This mirror writes down all the words we say. Fuck! Jesus Christ! Fuck! <laughs> the mirror shows the words, Hey, this mirror writes down all the words we say. Fuck! Jesus Christ! Fuck! Cameron Campbell appears. He nestles the mirror in his dad arms. <laughs> Yoink! Time to get poor quick with this baby. 
Everyone watches him walk away. Everyone but Jeremy, because of his medical condition where he can't watch a bad ending to a scene. <laughs> indeterminate a number of them. <laughs> they all nod in agreement. That number feels like canon. <laughs> there is rap music. <laughs> I've never felt like so much of a cliche. Uh, honestly, not that different from a regular episode. Eddie, uh, Eddie, let me see you. Can you do a stand, please? Yeah, where's that? Yeah. Listen! Yeah. Woo! Where's Eddie here? Can we watch the computer? Eddie. Eddie, it's we're, him. we're it's replacing him. you with the computer, Eddie. The computer has your job now. It was so good. <laughs> Holy shit. That is what you call a call out. That was so hard. <laughs> I don't know why that was so mentally difficult. <laughs> well, why don't we, uh, why don't we regroup? <laughs>